Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, the Big Blue Blob. Playing as France, of course, in version 1.25. So we took a lot of Scandinavia. We are annexing Connaught, or Clan Ricard, or whatever you want to call them. Clan Ricard. We are currently at war with Provence because we saw a quick attack of opportunity. And while we're waiting for um, these rebels to fire, and there's not much I can do about them at the moment, uh, we have nothing to do but sit back and wait. Which is really unfortunate because we are going to waste several years just trying to core all of this darn land. Look at this. How ridiculous this is. We won't be able to core most of this until like we've actually extended our coring range. To that extent, is there anything we can do to try and extend our core, uh, coring range? Probably not until level 7 Diplotech, and we are way behind that at the moment. Kind of upsetting, actually. I really don't like that. <sighs> this is rough. We're literally gradually inching our way across the coast of Norway. It's going to take forever, forever, to reduce our overextension. In the meantime, we have a little bit of manpower, but probably not a lot. Uh, we probably can mess with our estates a little bit. Can I get more manpower? No. Uh, we actually cannot demand military support until... Oh, just like another month. Oh, perfect. Wow, my timing there was just impeccable. All right. Um, we should probably spy a bit on Muscovy and try to get a claim, just so I can get to war with them if I need to eventually... Um, fortification efforts. Paris gets local defensiveness. Awesome. Let's split the troops so I don't take so much attrition. Hopefully these rebels are not too crazy. Hopefully. Uh, we can actually go ahead and mothball our forts because we're wasting money at this point. So let's do that. Mothball. What I could do is reduce our war exhaustion, and that would actually reduce our national unrest a little bit as well. Here's something interesting. Ooh. Really? Ooh, 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 ooh. Castile doesn't have an heir. What are the odds? What are the odds that the king of Castile dies and I get to inherit a personal unit over him, Aragon, and Naples? I'm going to have to go with not very good. But that would be amazing. Uh, we can get a claim here against Bergen Shu, so we will, because that has seven developments. It is an important center of trade, after all. Yeah, that would be amazing. Um, now, at the same time, is it really worth it? If it causes a succession war, it's not worth it because I can't afford to get into a war where I don't take any land. On the other hand, if I did get them, I would be able to be the... just. No one could ever have a coalition against me. I'd just murder everyone in sight. That would be the most freaking OP combination ever. be absolutely hilarious. Here come the Swedes! All right. We should be able to kill both of them. We took a fair bit of losses, but not outrageous. Um, if we go between both of these, well, we can probably put this down if we can get a core. Maybe not quite put it down, but we can at least knock another 8,000 troops out of this uh, rebellion, which would certainly be nice. Brittany gets a military alliance with Helra. All right, there goes the Siege of Anjou. Let's see, can I go and kill, hang on. Denmark, forget you. Can I get military access so I can go and kill uh, Switzerland, please? Not that I really want to lose any more manpower, but... Let's go kill them anyway. Looks like it's currently being sieged down by Flanders, which is fun. Um, Can I get to a fort? Any fort? No. Kind of awkward, actually. Can I get military access through Savoy? Yes. Go here. We have too many diplomatic relations. Oh, no. All right, let's see if we can kill the Swiss. Uh, just enough to knock them out of the war, because I'm ready to be done. Don't want to fight them in the mountains, really. Fort level 2, we only need a few troops. So let's back some of these guys up into the mountains, so don't take quite as much attrition. Truce with Brittany has ended. Well, if I recall correctly... They are currently being protected by England, and until that is gone, there's not a whole lot that I can currently do. All right, one core done. Can I, um... Enemies have forces inside of there. Nothing I can do. Can't core anything else right now. Gosh dang. Um... We can call the Papal State into this war. That's hilarious. Why don't you go here and just sit on this fort? Maybe we eventually will be able to do something there. Lack of demand for books of hours. 
Books of Hours? What's a Book of Hour? I don't know. Hey, uh, Switzerland, would you like Out of the War? Nope. I guess you're going to make me take a fort from you then, huh? All right, there's a few of the cores down. Core, core. Oh my gosh, only two? Only two? That's really bad. All right, these guys are at least out. Barely. These guys are almost out. Uh, I would love to knock a couple more of these provinces so that they can't rise up. The thing is... Oh, there goes uh, Jean de Dunois. No! The thing is... It's going to be really hard to go to war with England while I'm still trying to put down rebels and core things in Scandinavia. I may have little choice but to say, you know what, once we put down the uh, Norwegians, we're just going to accept there's a rebellion and go to war. And then after that war, maybe we can go and do something different. Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, let's see. We'll make the bourgeoisie happy. Okay. We can get a claim against uh, Muscovy. I will get a claim on... Wow, there's a surprising amount of development over here. 11? Wow. 7. Eh, estuary. Um, but the cheap land's all up here, so let's go ahead and get a claim on Soroka. Make it a little easier for me to kind of work my way up this, uh, this area here into the tundra. We are still annexing Clanicard. Oh, and we can now mess with the estates, right? Now, I don't necessarily want to mess with the clergy because I have too much admin power as is, but let's ask for Monopoly Charters. Get some Diplo support. Call a Daye. I can recruit a minister and not risk the nobility rising up. We'll do that, and then we'll demand the military support. Uh, and now, I can military drill and get 15% morale. Awesome. That does make things a tiny bit easier. Come on, please just lose your fort. Can I cancel the military access now? Yes. There we go. Thank you. Sweden. Oh, sorry. Not Sweden. Sca uh, Switzerland. Give me your money. Don't care about any of this. Give me your war reps. You're done. Okay. Thank you. We'll back off. Stop losing so many troops. And Provence, we are going to have to take. This is going to be an expensive province. 161 development. Ouch. Hey, you've got a subject. You know, I totally forgot that Lorraine here was a thing. Hi. Um, I'm just going to take my one province and not worry about anything else, okay? If I vassalize them, I could get to war with Burgundy right now, which would be hilarious. Nothing else here actually is useful to me. Pretty confident Burgundy is going to eat the rest of them, so you're out as well. Good. Now my war exhaustion can start ticking down, though I may want to end up paying... Ouch. I may end up wanting to pay some Diplo power to reduce it a little bit faster. Maybe. All right, so these troops are in position. Um, if I can deal with the Norwegians, what I'll probably do is start transporting them down into Scotland. I could use military power to put down some of the rebellions. It would cost me a bit. 50. That'd be a little awkward, right? Let's seek the support of the clergy. Get an Inquisitor. Demand support. That would be a little awkward. Um, let's invest a bit more to try to become the Papal Controller. We are at a 30% chance. That's pretty good. Switzerland cedes lands to Burgundy. Ouch. And excommunicated ruler looks like they did not finish off Provence. What do you know? They decided to take land from Switzerland instead. HRE lands? Are you sure that was wise? Okay. You know? Cool. Um, if we did pay down... Okay, we have to do it. We have to pay down some of this war exhaustion. That should remove a few of these provinces from the uh, rebellion for Norway. Can I actually split these troops up even further? This is risky. But I think we actually might be able to put down this rebellion entirely. No royal marriages necessary. Don't care about naval doctrine. Can't core anything else. Overextension sucks. Aragon has embraced the Renaissance. You still do not have an heir and you're 63 years old. Ain't that fun. I have claims on all of Brittany. If I go to war with England, then that might be a good opportunity to uh, declare another war on Brittany. 
because England won't guarantee uh, protect them, and we can just finish everything else off, including Scotland if I wanted to. They got some development, um, but I could get a claim on them and make it cheaper. It's not worth it, though. It's still too expensive, honestly. It is. Who else are you allies with? Savoy? 27. Besides Nice, there's nothing we can take from them that's worth it. Helra? 15. No. I don't think any of that makes sense. We're going to spy instead. Actually, let's improve relations a little bit with... Uh, no, we're fine there. Let's go ahead and spy a bit more on England. Maybe we get another claim. I hate to waste this much time, but we really, really do not want to deal with any of these rebels. Uh, no, instead we put ourselves in this awkward position where... Well? No, some of these guys still aren't rebelling. We can reduce the size of the rebellion significantly. Provence broke their alliance with Switzerland. That's fine. There's nothing I can do about Corellia. We are wasting years. This is killing me. Okay. No Nor Norway's going away. This is good. Novgorod's getting stronger. They'll fire relatively soon. It would help if I could actually core all this land. But oh well. Okay, with Norway going down, at least that makes things a little easier. Mm. I really want to go to war. We're wasting so much time. Is it worth spending some military power to put these guys down? I can reduce it by only 30%. That's not a lot. You know what I could do is actually get some uh, stability. Okay, hang on. Boost stability. At the very least, this will probably knock off a couple of the provinces and reduce the size of the rebellions. Little bit. Okay. That, that might be okay. We actually still have a lot of admin power. I could go for a second level. Um, it's weird, but yes, I'm going to do it. Alright, let's start transporting our troops over to Scotland. And the reason I'm doing this is I think we have enough admin power before this next war that we're going to be okay. Um, but if I can reduce the likelihood of these guys firing and also, yeah, I mean, if I can just reduce the likelihood of these guys firing, that'll be great. When they get to 90%, then I shall, uh, put them down using my military power. And in the meantime, we can stop wasting time and try going back to war. That is the idea. Do we not have another general? We do not. Higher general. That shock value, though, that's good. Okay. Um, still no cores there, but at least our overextension has been significantly reduced. Treason against France. Uh, we cannot have local unrest of this level, I think. Well, let's see. Loire? The stuff we just took. Yeah, that's a no. Raise autonomy. Um, and we're just gonna lose the army professionalism, because it doesn't matter at this stage of the game. We can get ourselves another claim against Muscovy. And we will. We'll get a claim on Olenets. Okay. Take what I can. Uh, where is my navy? Where'd it go? Navy? There you are. hey -o. You are slowly but surely transporting troops across the deep, deep sea. And probably taking attrition along the way. Well done. Okay. Um, we can... How many more troops can I get? Two. We have a little bit of manpower, so I can afford to get a couple more cavalry, actually, if I wanted to. I would rather build them up here, though. What kind of an army composition are we looking at here? Almost exclusively infantry. Yeah. Let's go ahead and train up a couple more um, cavalry up here. So we'll be a little bit better prepared to go and fight uh, England. Brittany has indeed embraced the Renaissance. Good for them. Not going to save you much, but there you go. Local unrest can Kex Kexholm. Um, hang on. Kexholm is this. I can reduce her unrest by five in exchange for three autonomy. Two, two point two. Worth it. Okay. So they are now significantly less likely to fire. That's good. That's good. 
England, England, England. I wonder how many troops you have. I'm pretty confident that I have the superior navy this time around. You still have no air, Castile. Oh, man. Please die right now. Right now. Right now. Darn it. Do you know how amazing it would be? I mean, real again, if, it, if there is a secession war, then it's not worth it. But if there isn't a secession war and I just get three more nations, I can just attack everyone with impunity. That would make this scenario so dang easy. So dang easy. But no. We'll never get that lucky. Alright. Navy's in position. Let us raise up the fleet maintenance. We're now costing ourselves a fair bit of money. That's okay, though. If we take loans, we take loans. It's not a big deal. Group up. Go over here. Set up the fort. Um, early on, I think that the English Channel is what I want to control the most. England is claiming Anjou. Okay. Do you have a fort? No. No. Yes. Two infantry. You're going to go down here. Uh, we could repay the loan. But I'll have no money. I guess it doesn't matter. We can always take another loan if I have to. We'll repay the loan while I can. We lost a claim on something. Hopefully nothing important. Alright. Um, two cores are about to finish. We can probably declare the war. Honestly, about now. Um, no, wait. You're not going to have any troops over here. This is a level 2 fort. If I take half the troops... And transport these guys up to Scotland as well. That's going to be better. I'd rather have more troops reinforcing in Scotland so I can push in from the north. I don't think we'll need very many down here. Especially if I can call in uh, Castile. I can fabricate a claim. What do I want? We don't have a claim on Cumbria anymore. You've improved your development, haven't you? Why do I feel like you have? Let's get a claim on uh, Chester. Okay. Troops are going to get deployed. A couple more cores are done, which means we are gradually making our way across Scandinavia. Okay, more troops in position. You guys can go down to the Straits of Dover. <sighs> if we go to war... Castile, if they if he dies, he will not he will not fall into a personal union. But you know what? Since we're not going to be able to play this campaign for all that much longer anyway, that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and do our war against England. We will have to fight Portugal, which Castile can handle. Utrecht, which I can handle. We'll call in. Now this is interesting. Who would I rather call in just Castile and the Papal State, or do I want to? And do I want to call in Burgundy as well, or save them to fight against Savoy, Brittany, and Helra? That is a good question. Let's start with the Papal State and Castile. This will be a reconquest war. I'll get much less aggressive expansion for doing so. And this all should be good, I think, unless we want to co-belligerize somebody. That would be awkward if I co-belligerized Portugal, because they would call in Castile. Utrecht would call in East Frisia. Who have, they have eight development. We could snag another one, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with what we've got here. This will be fine. All right. Aquitaine, that's my war goal. And here we go. 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 And then you guys, you march here. You march here. We can't go anywhere else until we take down this fort. Darn! Who has better siege value? Do you have any? You have two. Nice. Alright, that'll work. This will work fine for me. Let's go ahead and turn off a couple of these forts, because I don't think that some of these are worth paying for. We might keep the one up here in Paris and in Normandy. Otherwise, no big deal. We'll turn this off. We'll turn this one off as well. I actually could just delete the forts if I wanted to save some money. But I'm not worried. Scotland is sharing knowledge from Brittany. Fun. Alright, Castile. Go kill Portugal for me. Thank you. 
All right, we've got our navy. Hello, you have six heavies. <laughs> you cannot handle me. Not a chance. Oh, hi, Utrecht. I forgot about you. Ah, yes. This is awkward. Turn on the fort real quick. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, We'll blockade in Tyne. You can't go anywhere. It's not necessarily true. How many troops does England have? Should have checked this first. England has 20,000 troops. There's no easy way for me to get across here quickly without getting stack wiped, so we'll have to wait. Oh, I forgot about Novgorod. Dang it all, I should have put them down, but I forgot. I completely forgot about them. Alright, we're going to have to live with that anyway. Uh, turn on this fort. Haha, -ha, I think you're stuck now. No, they can get around. They have military access for some reason. Okay, well, we're working on that fort. We're working on this fort. We are officially at war with England. If I can just knock this down quickly... We have enough of a numbers advantage. I think we can sweep all the way down to London and knock out England in pretty much record time. Which would be really nice. And then we have to put these guys down, but then we can probably fight Muscovy afterwards if we wanted to. Which would be uh, quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. We're going to end this video here, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Ooh!